After that, prosecutors say gang members locked up in South Carolina prisons ran an international drug empire using illegal cell phones. They say the inmates arranged murders, kidnappings, and other crimes over the last three years. Our Jason Raven has more from Columbia. Investigators allege that the group moved up to $50 million worth of methamphetamine a year here in South Carolina. During a news conference at Broad River Correctional Institution in Columbia, U.S. Attorney Peter McCoy announced a 101-page indictment in what's being called the largest federal racketeering conspiracy in the state's history. Anyone who would try to harm the people of South Carolina with violence, intimidation, extortion, we are coming after you wherever you are. Neither pandemic nor prison walls will provide refuge from the full force of the federal government. Now for the alleged members or associates of the insane gangsters disciples, a branch of the Folk Nation gang, have been named in the indictment from the federal grand jury. Officials say they believe the group is connected to dozens of crimes that occurred across the state. This was a criminal group operating in a very brazen fashion which fueled gun violence, drug trafficking, kidnapping, and as you've heard, murder. Officials say almost all of these crimes were set up by inmates for members on the outside. They even orchestrated the murder of a woman they believed was a police informant. And they say they did this with the help of contraband cell phones. We're spending countless hours and resources going after people who have already been sentenced and convicted and should be in prison, not creating more problems for law enforcement, for victims, and innocent citizens in our communities in this state. Officials say this shows cell phone jamming technology is necessary in the Palmetto State. Right now, cell phone jamming is not allowed at state prisons under federal communications law. Prison officials say so far this year they've confiscated more than 4,000 illegal cell phones. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News. 35 of the 40 people charged could face up to life in prison. Well, virtual doctor.